NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg stated that NATO does not see any immediate threat of military attacks on a NATO member, but noted that there is a constant risk of hybrid attacks. The Institute for the Study of War has recently observed Kremlin actors, including Russian President Vladimir Putin, setting informational conditions to justify possible Russian hybrid attacks on Moldova as well as the Baltic states, Denmark and Finland. In its latest assessment, the US-based think tank says the Kremlin is conducting information operations against Moldova very similar to those that the Kremlin used before its invasions of Ukraine in 2014 and 2022, likely to set conditions to justify possible future Russian escalation against Moldova. Although the timing of a possible Russian hybrid operation there is unclear, the Kremlin is setting informational conditions to make it possible soon. Earlier, the Estonian Foreign Intelligence Service stated that the Russian military's ongoing restructuring and expansion effort aims to intensify Russian military's posturing against Finland and the wider NATO alliance. The VLA reported that the Russian military is forming the Leningrad Military District and Moscow Military District in order to posture against Finland and NATO while also attempting to, quote, partially strengthen its unit in the Baltic region. The VLA's assessment is consistent with the Institute for the Study of War's assessment that Russia may be arranging military assets in a way to posture along the border with NATO members in the mid to long term. The Estonian Foreign Intelligence Service says the likelihood of a direct military attack against Estonia remains low this year, but the security situation in Europe and along Estonia's borders in the near future depends on whether Ukraine, with the support of its allies, can shatter Russia's aggression.